happy Friday. I'm gonna wait a minute for a few people to join. Oh, there we go. Say good morning if you can if you can hear and everything so that I know my comments are working. Oh. Hi Prosperous, she just joined. Hey there, good morning, Jen. All right, you guys. Oh my gosh. Last night was not good. I came home after my procedure. Felt pretty good when I left the hospital. I was all right. They have to put a sculpamine patch behind my ear to keep me from getting sick. The anesthesiologist, very nice man, but kept saying, you're not gonna need that patch. I don't know why you're asking for that patch. Propofol will not make you sick. I'm like, propofol is going to make me throw up. I need something. I need a sculpamine patch. So he finally said, okay, well, they're not dangerous. So let's just give you one. So they gave me the sculpamine patch. Well, um, I felt fine after the colonoscopy. When I first woke up, dry cough. I always, ugh, anesthesia makes me cough so bad. So I hacked and hacked and hacked. But by the time I got home and sat down, I, I felt really drowsy. So I went and laid down, tried to take a nap and uh, struggled to sleep. And about four o'clock I got up and I said to my husband, I don't feel good. I don't feel good whatsoever. <laughs> And I could feel my blood sugar going like this, but I couldn't, I think my blood sugar was really low because I couldn't function. It reminded me of when my di my mom's diabetic and when her blood sugar drops, she starts acting completely stupid. Like she's moving funny, she can't function. And that's what I felt like. And I semi feel a little bit like that this morning. I did not feel good whatsoever. and. So I tried to eat. My husband made spaghetti and I tried to eat. He made mine with dream fields like a good man. He made two separate pots, which I appreciated. I took two bites. I was like, I couldn't get it down. I drank a big glass of chocolate milk with the protein powder. I didn't have any sugar. I, he kept saying, you need to eat a Snickers. You need to eat a Snickers and I wouldn't do it, <laughs> which is probably stupid. I probably should have just eaten the Snickers because my blood sugar was low. I all but passed out at one point. I I was so dizzy and shaking. My whole body was shaking like this. I mean, I was like, I had the chills bad. I didn't have a fever, but I had the chills so bad. And I just, my whole body was like, uh, my teeth were chattering. He, so then he cut up an apple and I eat like three slices of apple and that seemed to help a little bit. I posted and asked what foods on plan will help my blood sugar come up and apple was the first one I saw that I had so I took it I ate part of an apple it was horrible to try to even get it down it was awful I just felt terrible so after I ate the apple I felt a fraction better and at six o'clock I went to bed and I slept until 7 30 this morning I slept 13 and a half hours you guys. but oh so my blood sugar this morning is still a little bit low. I can feel it. I, I'm just quivery. Like I'm like, that's because I haven't eaten a meal since Tuesday. <laughs> so I'm having a big fat crossover this morning. Tracy, I, everybody was like, juice, drink orange. I had nothing. This is the one issue with being teach him is I had nothing to bring up my sugar. I could have eaten his candy bar, but I just, I didn't want to. And I should have anyway. I could have eaten some potato chips. I suppose it wouldn't have killed me, but it was it was awful. He was so mad that I wouldn't <laughs> eat anything unhealthy. He's like, you need some sugar. I'm like, I'm not doing it. <laughs> oh, so I, he, he even offered to make me other foods, but the way I felt, I couldn't eat a single thing. It just, wasn't happening. Ugh. I just couldn't get anything down. And I am wicked dry. Still this morning, I have absolutely no liquid. Li my lips stick in my teeth. <laughs> I have no liquid in my body wherever. I even took off the sculpamine patch because um, I, I know it gives you dry mouth and my mouth was so bad. 
that I thought I have got, I had to get it off. And then, then because I took it off, oh, I didn't feel good. I just felt nauseous. I just, I don't do well with most anesthesia. It doesn't like me. I sure like the feeling when it first goes in though and they're like, good night, and you say good night, and then you're dead to the world. I kind of like that, but other than that, I don't enjoy. Peanut butter might have helped. I couldn't think straight, and of course he couldn't, he was trying to all think THM. What can she eat that won't make her mad? <sighs> and I couldn't think of anything. I did have, I had a Russell Stover candy that it's it's like malitol so it's not ideal sweetener by any means but it's still sugar free i had one of those and that eating that stuff it must have given me enough fuel to stop shivering because i stopped the shivering i was shaking real bad but i think this healthy eating like my prep was very mild it was not difficult at all like i expected and i think that's because i've been eating so healthy there wasn't you know, three years of stuff in my colon. There was some broccoli and some salmon. <laughs> that was it. That's all I had to get rid of. <laughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> I don't like it, Tracy. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm still coughing. Oh, my throat's killing me. That's the other thing. Anesthesia always makes my throat sore. So anyway, I'm gonna make a big old crossover. I took two tiny little, and it's probably too much sweet potato, and I don't care, I need it this morning. It's all right. Um, I took and peeled two little sweet potatoes, little itty bitty sweet potatoes, and I microwaved them. Let me move this down so you can see a little bit. I microwaved them for um, five minutes just to get them kind of fork tender because I wanna saute them in a pan with some butter. So I could air fry them, but I don't wanna. I want them with butter like fat. I was just going to make an omelet this morning and I found this really yummy shake that I want to try, Almond Joy Shake, and I found a Butterfinger Shake and I wanted to try it. But then I realized I probably should eat a crossover. I think I need, I think I need some good carbohydrates and some good fat this morning. But on the plus side, you guys, I, I wish it would stay this way, but I know it's not going to. But I lost five pounds over the last two days from that prep. <laughs> that puts me at 39, but I'm not counting it as a full weight loss until it stays off for a week because I have a feeling as soon as I eat, she's going to come back, some of it. <laughs> but I was at 211. I haven't, I haven't been 211 for 20 years. <laughs> My prep was horrible, like bad chemical. Well, the the prep wasn't bad, but it was, I had sugar-free Powerade, cherry flavor. If I had to do that again next time, if I did that again, I would totally have um, water. She said I could have used just water. That Gatorade, sugar-free or not, tasted like a spoonful of sugar. It was horrible. Oh, the couldn't taste the actual Miralax, but the, the, it was so sweet. I couldn't hardly stand it. I sat there and quivered the whole time I was getting it down, but it don't matter. It's over now and all's fine in the butt region. <laughs> right about here. We're all good. No polyps, nothing, nothing. So good to know. My issue had nothing other than the tear. There you go, sweet potato boy. All right, big old pile of tender sweet potato. If I, I mean, I can cook these in a skillet from scratch, but it would take forever. And I just, I want to eat now. Today's my 27th anniversary. Oh, that's awesome, Lori. I need to plan a delicious dinner. Salmon on top of baby asparagus with hollandaise sauce romance my husband would throw it in the trash because he hates salmon but if your husband likes salmon that would be a good meal the ideal meal for my husband on his anniversary would be five guys <laughs> but if I was trying to make a fancy romantic dinner I would make hollandaise on top of my on top of my salmon and my baby asparagus. It has to be baby though, because that big other stuff is nasty. All right, let's sit you down. I'm gonna cook up my skillet. I ate some, I ate 
be afraid of no butter this morning, let me tell you. Not at all. <laughs> I'm gonna get some peppers out of the fridge. I love this stock. Seasoning blend, they call it, or stir fry mix. Red, green, yellow peppers, and onions. It's one of the only ways I like peppers is this way. Or cooked up at the fair and thrown on a sausage. I like it that way too. Because I want a little more butter. Yeah, it's okay. My body needs it. This is, I never, I, I eat maybe one crossover a week. And I haven't had one in a couple of weeks, so... So, I need a, well, it's like skinny. I call it baby asparagus. I don't know if it's baby. It's just that skinny. Every time I buy organic asparagus, it's skinny, 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 skinny. Then regular asparagus is like fat, like your thumb. But this is like, it's, it's not much thicker than a green bean. And oh, it's so good. It's not fibrous like, like those other ones. Look at that butter. I'm throw some seasoning blend in there. Big old onion. They make these with white onions, and I'm glad because I can't eat red onions. All right. I think my Misfits is coming today, and it's good because I'm low on most things. I've used, excuse me, I've used up most of my veggies. I need some fresh veg. You always call it baby asparagus too? Skitty asparagus? I don't know. I always thought it was baby asparagus. Tender asparagus. I don't know. I just always called it baby. I thought it just hadn't grown up yet. <laughs> That's not true. Is it a different kind of asparagus? I don't know. I like canned asparagus, as nasty as that is. That sounds good, Tracy. Although your blood sugar will spike without the protein to hold it in place. Just be worried, just be, just know that that happens. If you eat the sweet potatoes because of the carbs in it with no protein to hold it in place, your blood sugar will spike. And that's what can cause this with your weight. Just a thought. I mean, once in a while, it certainly isn't gonna hurt, but you usually wanna anchor your meals in protein. I was gonna turn the fan on, but I guess I don't need to. Whew, I will do my treadmill devotions in a little while. Usually I do them at 6:30. I just didn't have the. I didn't have the. Um, I'm too dizzy. <laughs> I'm too lightheaded and dizzy to go walking on the treadmill. So I will do that in a little while. All right. I'm gonna throw these sweet potatoes right in with my peppers and stuff, so they can all brown up together. Oh man. Yeah. So I just microwaved that for about. They were little. I popped. I peeled them first, popped some holes in it, and, you know, stabbed it a few times. And then microwaved it for about five minutes until it was just barely tender. You don't want it mushy, because I want to keep this in hash form. I'm gonna put two eggs on top of this. Yes, Tracy, you didn't know that? Yep, you always want to anchor everything, snacks and and meals and protein. I'm so, so dry. I feel like I... <coughs> oh. I feel like I sucked the wind out of a tailpipe of a 64 and a half Mustang. <coughs> I'm all dry and pasty in the mouth. I always, always worry about aspiration pneumonia after I have anesthesia. I just, I just hope it's, it, it goes away. This cough, I hate it. I always get a cough. That's right, Jessica. There are lots of proteins you can have without meat. Some beans in there with your veggie. Tracy would have been good with, but if you had butter, it would have been a crossover if you had, unless you had just a quarter cup of beans, but that would have given you some protein or like uh, somebody else said cottage cheese is a good protein, or you could have that meal and just have a tall glass of, um, of chocolate milk made out of, that's what I'm gonna have for breakfast with this, chocolate
chocolate way or <clears throat> regular way with some cocoa and sweetener in it. Make a tall glass of chocolate milk. Oh my gosh, yes, yeah, somebody just said my wristband. I still have it on. <laughs> Let's get rid of that, shall we? <laughs> I didn't even realize until somebody said that. I don't think I had an ET tube though, and they said they weren't going to do that. I had oxygen and then just procedural sedation. So nothing, but it's, I know it's a side effect of um, some of the meds that they give you. And I have asthma, so I tend to, if something can make you cough, it will, but I like, I have a really sore inner ear this morning. And it all was the second I woke up. It's weird. Weird, weird. But it's better than last night. Last night my voice was like a sexy old man. It was deep. And I sounded like, you know, very what? Don't want to sound like that. <laughs> oh. I really hope the scale stays where it's at. <laughs> that's all I'm going to be thinking about now when I eat. I hope the scale doesn't go up because I eat this, but that, that's unhealthy thinking. I know the scale is going to go up when I actually eat because there is nothing in my body right now. She empty. I'm literally running on fumes. I think I'll whiz up my chocolate milk while I'm waiting. I love a tall glass of this chocolate milk. It's so good. And I love the chocolate way so I don't have to I don't have to think about the sweetener or anything. Now if I put if I fill that glass to the top when I whiz it up, it's gonna fly everywhere. Your graphic shirts. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> uh, I figure if you're going to stay home all day and dress boring, you might as well be entertaining to yourself and others as well. <laughs> all right. Anyway, I always whiz this up in just a little bit of milk before I add the rest of the milk. Otherwise, it goes flying all over my kitchen. And I don't do that. Well, that's true, Diane. But I weigh myself every single day. Not saying it's a good idea or that it's healthy, but I do. Because it just helps me know where I'm at. And I'm okay if it goes up two or three pounds and down two or three pounds. My weight loss journey has gone just like this. Up, down, up a little. Down, up a little. Goes just like this. Oh, it's just seesawing. So when I get on the scale and it's up three pounds one day, I'm like, yeah, whatever. I know that I eat healthy and it is not up three pounds. That I don't have to worry about it. I don't let that stress me out. Oh, yum. Mm. I love that stuff. It's true too, Kathy. It it does help me stay on plan. It helps me eat better if I know where my body's going. And like uh, like you said, Kathy, if I ate something, if I'm up three pounds after a day, I know chances are I ate too much sodium. I can almost always tell if I've eaten too much sodium. Usually if it went up three pounds, I did one or two things. I ate too much sodium. I didn't eat enough, one of three things, or I forgot to take my blood pressure medication <laughs> and I'm full of water. <laughs> that same thing happened. But I find if I eat e-meals for supper, my body goes up and down a lot more. If I eat them for breakfast and keep my S's for the rest of the day, I do better. I don't know. All right, I'm going to get a couple of eggs to slap on there. This is going to be yummy. I'm going to put them right on top of my stuff. Right on top. 
before, you know, slide off the side. Whatever there, egg. You were supposed to stay on top. so those eggs can cook on top. I know you were saying cashew milk is too expensive there. I got some on Amazon, it wasn't too pricey. I'll have to look. Cashew milk is just harder to find here. I'm gonna make, I could make my own, um, but the cashews were a lot more expensive than the almonds. I am getting low on almond milk, so I need to read up on how to make my almond milk today because I don't know how long the almonds need to soak. So I'm excited to try making my own. That's the way I feel, Ashley. I don't need, I'll sometimes eat an E for supper, but I don't feel like I need them. I don't need the energy before I go to bed. My ear is wicked sore. Who knows? You're, you're right, Kathy, <laughs> it is gonna, I'm hoping I can, you know, get it down. Cause honestly, I don't even feel remotely hungry at all. At all, I'm not even at all hungry. If you go long enough without food, you kind of start to not feel hungry. And that's that's kind of where I am. Last night when he gave me that spaghetti, I I was like, oh spaghetti, I'm looking forward to it. I took one bite and was like, <sighs> I can't eat it. It just didn't taste good. Not because of the way he made it, because he made it just fine. But I need a little bit of a little splash of water in there for my eggs. Steam my eggs up some. Oh, this is gonna be yummy. Thank you, Ashley. I appreciate you praying for me. I felt you guys. I felt felt the prayers in between the. I've learned that I used to bring my phone. I I've had too many surgeries and procedures and I used to bring my phone and sit there and read while they're waiting while I'm waiting for my IV or waiting to talk to the anesthesiologist or whatever it is but the last couple of times I went I didn't do that I sat there and I just prayed the whole time and it it really makes you feel a lot better Becky yeah I did I always do <laughs> I leave all my eggshells in the carton <laughs> until it's ready to throw away I was up 0.4 pounds from last Friday, but I'm okay. Yeah, 0.4 is probably just some liquid Karen. Tiffany, so easy. Soak, dry out your leftover pulp in the oven, grind it up a bit, and you have all. What? Really? Interesting. Yes, Donna, I drink straw. I had that's what I had last night with strawberry milk. I had a glass of that. It's really good. Really good. I'm gonna make sure the egg white is done because I don't want no slimy egg white. It looks pretty darn good. That looks like something straight out of the restaurant. I've gotta tell ya, I nailed that. All right, enough bragging on my cooking. <laughs> I always do, Susan. <laughs> I'm gonna use the same plate. It, all it had on it was my microwave sweet potato, so it's okay. I'm gonna leave that there for a minute. I'm also going to have some kiwi. <clears throat> These fall into the same category, if you didn't know. Kiwis fall into the same category as berries. So you can have them with an S. Now I'm having a um, crossover, so it doesn't really matter, but. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. They fall into the same category as your strawberries and your blueberries. So you can have them with an S, an E, or a fuel pull. And I have a couple left. I have had these now for two weeks in my house and they were ripe when I got them and they're still going strong because I bought these bags from the store. Obviously, where else would you buy things than from a store? But they're like green bags that you put your produce in to keep it alive and they actually work. They've kept all my, my veggies that usually, the ones that usually go bad real quick like tomatoes and stuff, they kept them good. I am not very good at peeling this thing. I know, it's cause I'm trying to hurry, cause I'm hungry. Well, not really. I'm just talking to myself at this point. All right, kiwi, kiwi. Oh, let's get some. Yum, I love kiwis when they're good and ripe. 
Mmm, and they're perfectly sweet. There's no sour to them whatsoever. Oh, I love kiwis. And if I'm on the road, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm on the road, I will cut off the end, cut off one end, put them in a baggie, and bring a spoon with me, and I will eat it right out of the shell, out of the skin on the road. See, somebody asked what did those look like, kiwis? Oh, you mean the green bags? What, what does what look like? I am the only one who gets up and goes to the bathroom, weighs, gets immediately, goes back to the bathroom, and does the other. Yeah, no, you're not the only one, Vicky. You're not the only one. Get her to it. We all do that. Oh my gosh. This looks amazing. I'm gonna go sit and watch episodes of Hell's Kitchen that are waiting for me. Oh, that hash is nice and crispy on the bottom. Oh my word. That's gonna do a body good this morning, I'll tell ya. Look at that. How's that, huh? The green bags, they're these. Oh, I've got some unopened ones here. They, I don't know what the package looks like. Debbie Meyer, I can find a link for them and share it if you want. Debbie Meyer's green bags. They're just, they, you get a whole bunch of them. For like $10, you get like 30 of them. And they just keep your stuff from going bad. The bananas too. Mm, oh my gosh. I love sweet potatoes. All right, there's breakfast. That looks pretty darn good. I ain't mad about that. All right, you guys. I'm going to go eat. I'm excited about it. <clears throat> if I can get it all, hopefully I can get it all down. I'll probably regret eating this much food. Right out of the gate, I'll be like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. All right, you guys. That's it. Go make a crossover once in a while. It's okay. You could leave the yolk out and just put egg white on there, and you'd have a an e-skillet. Ain't nothing wrong with crossover once in a while, though. It's good for your body once in a while. It shakes things up. You don't do a crossover here and there do it it's good for you all right you guys i love you all tracy i haven't tasted it yet it's still in my fridge i need to i forget i forgot it was in there i'll do that today see what it tastes like i could have had a slice with this but i think i'm gonna be too full all right i love you all i will do treadmill devotions later this morning when i'm feeling when my energy is back up a little it'll be today i just can't promise you what time i have no idea but i will be doing it there is no doubt so, all right, you guys, I love you all. Have a blessed Friday. Stay on plan. No order on pizza tonight. If you order pizza, you slap the toppings on a salad because you don't need that crust. Nobody needs that. That is not a need. All right, I love you all. I'll talk to you later. I always say that like I'm hanging up the phone. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.